Lynn Pinot, move a piano. Move a piano, Lynn Pinot. Henry Ford said, whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. Contest chair and fellow Toastmasters. A friend of mine shared a story with me recently about helping a buddy move a piano. He said there were lots of folks to help, but a lot of people kept stopping, complaining, but it's a piano. My friend is strong and can pull his own weight, but he's getting frustrated with all the stopping. Finally, he told them, it's just a piano, let's lift. No question a piano is heavy. An upright piano can weigh between 500 and 800 pounds. Regardless of that fact though, my friend had already decided that the task was doable. I found this story fascinating because it reminded me that all of the things that we accomplish in life, all the goals we meet, the obstacles we overcome, those mountains that we climb, are all done so because at some point in the journey to get there, we decide that the task is doable. We allow it to be doable in our mind. Can you move a piano? My son can. My 16 year old son plays competitive baseball. He's played for eight years. And in those years, he has had seasons and seasons of physical training. My husband and I try to enhance that training by having conversations with him about how critical it is to approach the plate confidently and decidedly. We encourage him to already decide before he gets up to bat that he will hit that ball. He shows this not by coming to the plate like this. Oh no, he walks to the plate confidently holding his bat with strength. You can see it in his stance, the expression on his face, the focus in his eyes. He has decided. Don't misunderstand. We're not trying to raise an arrogant athlete. We're simply inviting our son to make the connection between his mind and his body. If he thinks he can or thinks he can't, he will be right. Each time my son comes up to bat, he is moving a piano. Can you? Move a piano? Buddha once said, the mind is everything. What you think, you become. You become it. Your cells, your bones, your muscles, your speed, your agility, your coordination, your intellect, your passions, your persistence. All of these follow what is going on in your head. With this understanding, why would we ever allow ourselves to have another negative thought, ever? Can you move a piano? I can. A year and a half ago, I started to learn how to lift weights. And I've always wanted to learn how to lift weights because I've always been an athlete. Basketball, volleyball, sprinting, distance running, all through grade school, high school, university, adulthood. And even though I don't do some of those activities any longer, I'm still an athlete in my head. And since I've been lifting weights, I do feel physically stronger. Now I'm no Wonder Woman or Captain Marvel. And I've got a lot of goals still to reach, but already I'm a stronger version of Lynn Marvel Pino. It's true. I move things at home now that I always asked for help with before. Now my husband will say, do you want me to get that, honey? No, thanks, sweetie. I got it. My six foot tall son will offer, mom, you want me to reach that? No, thanks, buddy. I got it. The most surprising part of learning to lift weights for me has not been the sore muscles, but rather the shift in my brain. 
the shift in my belief. I now believe that I am stronger. And that belief allows me to move things I couldn't move before and allows me to do all the exercises my trainer lady gives me. Are they easy? Oh no, some of them are so challenging, but I've decided that they're doable. Every time I'm lifting weights, I am moving a piano. Can you move a piano? Because I'm wondering, what's your piano? What is that something that you have decided you are never going to achieve? For whatever reason, it's too big, it's too heavy, it's too difficult. I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not creative enough, I don't have enough money. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. We all have our reasons and the mind takes those reasons and tells the body, ha, that is never going to happen. But you can change that. You have the power to change that. Do research on your piano. Talk to someone else who's already moving your piano. Allow yourself to visualize moving that piano. It costs you nothing to imagine it. And most importantly, just begin. Begin even though you feel inadequate, inept, ill-equipped. Begin anyway. You will amaze yourself. Please be brave. Be strong because you, you can move a piano. Contest chair. <laughs>